In this video, we're going to talk about tampers and specifically my experience in designing a tamper and Paul's experience here in using it, giving me feedback as we revise. And you're gonna learn a bit about the history of tamper design and why we've ended up with the tamper design we have today and why we think it works so well. So most people would know tampers like this. This is actually a, a beautifully designed tamper called the Perg Temp. It's got a wooden handle and a solid base. Now, the thing about this sort of temper is it requires a lot more skill than you would think. The problem is, is that when you get a porter filter and you put it in, it can really go any which way. Yet you really are supposed to tamp flat. And so there's this technique where you put it in here, you get three fingers there, and you put it in, you can feel the three fingers, you push down, and then you lift up and get it perfect. And if you don't get it perfect, your espresso is ruined. This is probably the single biggest thing that makes new people to espresso make bad espresso. And, and, it, and it's exactly what happened to me. I was having very inconsistent espresso. Uh, Paul, what was your experience when you were working with tampers like this? Um, definitely when you first started out, it was a lot more inconsistencies. But as you, you know, pursue it, a good shot, you kind of drive yourself to look into your technique and realize that I'm affecting the shot, creating a bad shot. Mm. Um, and you will go generally go down the route of uh, wonky tamps with a finer grind. Um, and then as your technique improves, you will find that the grind with the same bean, same dose, will eventually go coarser because the, 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 the water will essentially travel in the least uh, path of resistance. So if you have a wonky tamp and it's like this, all the water will go down the side. But when you straighten up your tamp, then you're not sort of uh, counteracting your slanted temp with your grind. And that will in turn also affect your flavor as well. So, so uh, that was that's super interesting to me. And I, I never really had clocked that until we talked before this video, which is that if you are tamping sideways here, the water is going to mostly go to the side. So there's a couple of things that go on. One is you're going to get a, a, a side extraction where if you look at the bottom, most of the espresso is going to come out one side and not the other because you're not level. So if you're seeing those side extractions, this is probably to blame. Now, secondly, in order to make that espresso flow at a good rate, because you're only using half the puck and it's thinner there, you're grinding finer. That's right. And so as you get your puck more and more level, you're finding you won't have to be as thin, but you'll also find that the espresso is gonna come out from everywhere. So both those are, are really good things. Now, Bugs and I have, I guess I call it a drinking game, which is we like to watch the WBC championship and spot the unlevel temp. And I would say <laughs> one third of them in WBC are unlevel. And the real culprit is people using a table like this and they'll, they'll put it on the table and they lean in sideways. And you can see as they're tamping that it's not been level. They should in fact lose points for that. So the problems I encountered with this design, and again, this is a beautiful, version of this kind of temper. And if you've got the skill and you get it right every time, more power to you, go with a traditional temper. However, I didn't. So this is our current version. A couple things I'll mention here. One is gone is the ugly white plastic. Now we have hopefully much less ugly black plastic. And the spring is now calibrated at 10 pounds of pressure. We've also streamlined the handle a bit. The handles have been getting smaller as we go through various models. Initially, I thought big hand, but since I don't need to do this dance with the fingers and get it all perfect, I just need this in here. It turns out lighter is nicer, lighter, lighter is easier on the, on the hand. So thank you for joining us into this deep dive on espresso temping. And